Today is Sunday, it's July the 18th, and our scripture reading today is taken from the book of Psalms, chapter 35 and chapter 54. I've titled this devotional, When Life is Not Fair. Well, today's scripture reading uh, finds David pleading with the Lord to save him from the plots and the traps his enemies had set for him. Now, the title of Psalm 35 is simply a psalm of David. Well, when David penned Psalm 35, it is not known. However, his plea for the Lord to render him justice and to save him from his enemies is a familiar theme now. Pursued by an army vastly larger than the, than his troop of 600 men, David found himself in a desperate place. Three times in this psalm, he will maintain his innocence with the phrase, without a cause, and reminded the Lord the injustices he had suffered. David wrote in Psalm 35, verse 7, For without cause have they hid for me their net in a pit, which without cause they have digged for my soul. Later, in verse 19, David beseeched the Lord, Let not them that are mine enemies wrongfully rejoice over me, neither let them wink with the eye that hate me without a cause. A friend, it is one thing to face trouble and suffer for one's wrongdoing. However, it's quite another when we have done no wrong and someone desires to destroy us. Unfortunately, you will learn there are times when those whom you trust, the ones that are closest to you, the ones that you love, those who are even your friends, are often the ones who will betray you. David asserted in Psalm 35 and verse 12, They rewarded me evil for good to the spoiling or the sorrow of my soul. Well, verses 13 through 16, we find David wallowing in a pit that I would call a pity pit. When he reflected on the injustices he had suffered, he remembered in verse 13 mourning for his enemy when he was sick, and he fasted and prayed for him. He had also sorrowed for the man who had become his enemy in the way one would love and mourn for a mother, verse 14. And yet his enemy had rewarded him evil for good and rejoiced in his sorrows. He had gathered others, his enemy had gathered others against him as a pack of wild animals would hunt and would ravage their prey. Now here's a, a great question for us. How do you respond to injustices. You know, it is tempted to wallow in self-pity and allow anger and bitterness to take hold of our soul when we feel that we've been treated unfairly. Well, David wrestled with injustices. However, he turned his focus to the Lord and called on him to save him. He realized there was nothing he could do to appease his enemy, for that enemy had no desire for peace. David has searched his heart for wrongdoing. And then he turned to the Lord, knowing that God is a faithful and true judge. And he said to the Lord, Judge me, O Lord my God. According to thy righteousness, let them not rejoice over me. Verse 24. Now trust that the Lord would hear and answer his prayer. David remembered there were some who had betrayed him. <clears throat> Rather, who had not betrayed him. And so David began looking beyond his sorrows, and he looked forward to the day he would be delivered from his enemy, and his friends would shout for joy and be glad. Now, he was not yet free from his troubles, but even then, in verse 28, he promised the Lord he would boldly speak of the Lord's righteousness and praise him all the day long. Well, Psalm 54 is a psalm that is very brief. It, it really reflects somewhat the spirit that we found in Psalm 35. Now, we're given the title of Psalm 34 before the first verse, and we actually know the background. It was when David was fleeing from the Ziphites, who were men of the tribe of Judah. Now, remember, David was of the tribe of Judah, so it was his own kinship his own members of his own tribe, the tribe of Judah, who had betrayed him to Saul and said to the king, Doth not David hide himself with us? 
You know, Psalm 54 is a fitting conclusion to today's devotional, for it closes with David declaring, Behold, look and see, God is my helper, for he hath delivered me out of all trouble, and mine eye hath seen his desire upon mine enemies. Uh, friend, I close with this question and thought to you. If you are in the throes of a conflict with someone who has no desire for peace, turn to the Lord. Yes, life is not fair. But you can be assured that God is just. Don't fall into a pity trap and despair. Call on the Lord, for He is waiting to help. And I assure you, God is is always good and just. The Lord bless you this day and keep you. May he smile upon you. God bless. Bye-bye.